Alright, hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Katana1 here. And today, I'm just going to be putting um, a GameCube game on a flash drive to play on my Wii. Uh, it's just going to, not really a tutorial, but just like, I, don't, I just want to, this video is primarily for my friend Jayshawn from school. Um, I'm going to show him that I'm not lying about GameCube games being on here. And I do, I do own all of this stuff. Do not... I'm not a pirate or quote. I mean, not quote. Cool. These are illegal backups, guys. So, I downloaded the Luigi's Mansion ISO. I lost my disc to it. Usually, I never ever lose or break any of my stuff, but somehow I lost this. And this is like one of my favorite games of all time. So, I'm gonna just drag it on my desktop real quick. And I'm not using my mouse for this video. But, yeah, so, I'm just gonna pop in my SD card real quick. This is what I use for the all my mods and applications and stuff for my Wii. And see, here we go. I deleted the games folder because, um, tomorrow I'm getting a 32 uh, gigabyte micro SD, class 10. I only bought it for 8 bucks on eBay, and... Yeah, so I'll be having the games folder on here tomorrow, but for now I have it on my 4 gig flash drive. Because this is only 4 gigs. So, it was taking up more than half the flash drive. I mean, the SD card. So, yeah, I just... We're not doing anything on here today. I just wanted to show you guys all my mods on here. Uh, I've, I've had all these mods. Well, not all of them, but... I've been Wii hacking for like 3 years, so... Yeah. It, like some of this stuff has been on here for a long time like um revolution that's been on here for a very very long time okay what was i gonna show oh yeah nintendo okay this is what i'm using for the videos nintendo um i never tried dios mios but i will try it eventually i didn't like neo gant i tried to boot it off a disc but i couldn't get it to go so yeah we're not doing anything on here this video i'm just gonna eject my sd Let's pop in the flash drive real quick, where I keep the games on. I just formatted this flash drive uh, a couple days ago to put my games on here. Actually, yeah, it was yesterday. So, we have this bin full. I don't know why that's here, but I'm not going to delete it because it might be important. I'm going to open my games, and this one didn't work. I don't know why. If you guys... Oh, what? I... Okay, so here's the thing. I renamed it to game yesterday though, I don't know why it went back. Now it should work though. When you, okay, when you guys put an ISO on here, you have to put game. You have to rename it to game, but you can put it in any folder you want. You can name the folder anything. But it has to be on the root of your flash drive or SD card, and it has to be named game. So go into your games folder, I'm going to make a new folder here, folder. Luigi Mansion. Okay, so we're gonna open this now, and then I'm gonna go to the desktop. And this name is annoying me, so I'm gonna change this name. You don't have to change the name of the ISO on your desktop or wherever you store it, but I'm just doing it right now because it's annoying me. So I'm gonna copy it. You can move it, you can delete it, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm, like I said, this isn't a tutorial, I'm just showing. You guys, but if you want to act like this is a tutorial, go ahead. Whatever you want to do. And that's going to copy real quick. This actually took uh, really quick to download. It downloaded really quick. It's not a big game at all. But if you guys haven't played Luigi's Mansion, you should. Uh, I still want to get the 3DS one eventually. Even though I heard it was kind of bad. I've... I haven't really heard much good things about it. Same with Paper Mario Sticker Star. But I still want to get that. I also want to get Fossil Fighters Frontier, Tamadachi Life, Animal Crossing. There's a lot of games I still want to get. <coughs> okay, so now it's on here. But if we go pop in my flash drive right now to my Wii, it's not going to do anything. So we have to rename this G-A-M-E. Game. And then... You know, refresh it just to make sure. Go back here. Go in. Internet. I got melee on here. I totally have the melee disc. Don't, you know, don't doubt me, guys. This, no, uh, not that. 
removable disk. Uh, you want to eject it just to be safe. You don't have to, but it's easier on the flash drive. So eject it and wait for the message to pop up. Okay, so now we're switching to my iPod's camera. Pop out my flash drive. And I'm going to switch to my iPod's camera right now. See you in a second, guys. Okay, so now we're on my iPod camera, guys. And here's the SD card I use for all my mods. And here's a flash drive that has the GameCube games on it. I'm just going to go over to my room right now. That's my computer over there. That's the monitor I use because my laptop monitors act weird. This is my room. So, you just pop in your SD card. It goes in this way, like that. Close that. You don't have to, but I like to. Okay, but I gotta show you guys something right here. You have to put it on this um spot for for this to work. I think you can. You gotta put it on that one. I don't know if you have to, but I put it in the other USB port and it didn't work last night. So just so you guys can see the one on the right when you look at it from the back. So now we got that done, and I'm gonna gonna turn on my Wii real quick. Actually, we're gonna I'm gonna plug this into my laptop real quick so I can record it on there. But you still have to do all this guy. What was I gonna say though? Oh yeah, I think this is possible to do it on the Wii U, but I'm not sure. Look up a tutorial for that. Um, there's something crazy you can do with the May Flash connector. But okay, so. See you guys on the laptop again. Peace. Alright guys, so now we're on my Wii. I got my Wii plugged into my laptop right now. Um using my Easy Cap capture card. Uh it's pretty good. It was only like fifteen bucks. I bought it like a, a year back, I think. And yeah, they're really cheap, easy to use. I'm recording this with uh OBS, so yeah, let's just get to it. This is my Wii, uh, Neo Gamma. I'm gonna uninstall that eventually. I'm too lazy to do it right now, though. I got, yeah, this is Japanese Majora's Mask. I got on here, and I got plays Mario OT. But anyway, let's boot up the Homebrew Channel. You can boot it up through any forwarder you like. I'm just doing it through the Pirate Channel because I like using that one. Do what you want, cause you're gonna see you are a pirate. I'm sorry. But okay, anyway, while well, this is loading up, got Nintendo right here. I'm gonna load up Nintendo like I showed you guys earlier on my SD card. And then, oh, does this remote work with? Okay, cool. This remote works with it. I'm using my classic controller right now, guys. I don't have the um, I don't have the bar hooked up to the Wii right now. I only use it when I absolutely have to. So I got SD right there. If I clicked on SD, I'll just show you guys. No fat device found or missing SD games. Like I showed you guys, you gotta put it on the root and name the folder games, like I showed you guys. So, if you select something and you don't have it right, it's gonna boot you back out here. Load it back up again. So I got my USB, like I said, plugged into the back of my Wii right now. So I'm gonna select my USB, and now I got the games on here. This one, The Zelda wasn't working last night because I didn't name it game. I did, but it didn't save it for some reason, I don't know why. And I don't know why that's in all caps. I think... Oh, yeah, yeah. It goes into the actual data of the game and looks at the actual name. So now I'm going to click on Luigi's Mansion. As you guys watched, you guys seen me put it on there. And then it's loading it. And... And there we go. Nintendo. It booted up. It runs at full speed. It might look a little laggy on here just because this capture card isn't the best, but it's good to use. But you still have to use your GameCube controller, so let me plug this in real quick. I got it wrapped up right now. I should have had this ready to go. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, let's plug this in. And then, boom, I got my GameCube controller plugged in. And the game loads up just like this. Now, all that good stuff. And the, there is no disc in my Wii right now. There's no disc at all. There's no CD, DVD, Wii game, GameCube game. 
it's just booting up right from the flash drive. I would unplug it, my flash drive, to show you guys that it freezes, but I don't want to fuck with it. I don't want to break my flash drive. So there you go, it's running at full speed. It might look a little laggy, but I promise you it's running at full speed. So, let me just shut it off real quick. But you still need your memory card, too. You still need a memory card, guys. You still need your memory card and your GameCube controller and all that. It runs like a normal GameCube game. So, I'm rebooting my Wii right now. Let me show you guys. If it'll ever boot back up. I think I might have just shut it off. Oh, yeah, I did. You guys can hear it booting up right now. My bad. I'm going to just reset it. Actually, let me show you guys something, too. Let me shut it off again. I want to show you guys something. Um, I, I recommend you install this in case you ever break your Wii. Power it on. You hold reset. And then, boom, preloader loads up. I recommend you guys do that. Oh. But the remote I'm using right now doesn't work with this. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I forgot this remote doesn't work with preloader. Because I have a Wii Motion Plus and a regular Wii Mo Wii Motion Plus doesn't work with most mods. So let me get my classic controller again. A. And I gotta install a floorboarder for um, Nintendo if they got one. Boot the pirate channel back up. Or the homebrew, whatever you like to do. You can do the red homebrew, the per whatever you want to do. It's all the same. So now we're on the homebrew channel. It's loading up. It takes a while to load now. Because I got so much stuff on here. Load. All my mods used to load instantaneously, but now I got so much stuff in here. USB. And we'll just boot up Melee real quick. Melee, however you like to pronounce it. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. <laughs> it's gonna read my flash drive. It's reading the ISO. And then... Oh wow, this video is gonna be like, probably around 13 minutes or something. There you go, melee boots up. And hit start real quick. And I'm going to classic. I'll just show you guys a match real quick on here. I'm going to select Skull Link. And, uh, very easy. I suck at Smash. Oh, it's hard to play on here because it lags so much on this capture card. Because so I do not have a good computer, you guys. Like, this computer is pretty decent for running the capture card. My other computer can't really run it at all. But, like, I would recommend getting a better capture card than this. Plus, this is, this is a, you know, pretty fast-paced game. Uh, let's see. It's, I'm sorry, guys, it's so hard to play like this. I'm, plus, it's such a small screen on my laptop. You gotta admit. I know, excuses, excuses. But, I can see like five seconds of it, and then it freezes for two seconds. So I can't get many hits in. I haven't gotten any, I don't think. Oh, 8%. Ugh. I promise you guys, I'm better at Smash. I mean, I'm bad, but I'm not this bad. Get right. Okay. Um. God damn it. <sighs> wow, this is so bad right now. Okay, get raked. So as you guys can see, it's lagging on the capture right now, but I promise you it doesn't lag when I play it on my TV. I could show you guys another video if you really don't trust me on it, especially Jay Sean. But anyway, you guys, that's the video, and I'll see you guys next time, and peace.